Alrighty guys, in today's video, I want to provide you guys with a closer look at what goes behind the scenes of actually finding deals, uh, what sort of lots am I looking at, how am I messaging people so I can get some better prices on their listings, stuff like that. I've been actually getting a ton of requests recently to make a video like this. So yeah, I finally had everything line up where we actually just finished drafting up our last couple games here. So we do have about three, four days with the listings, which means that we have about three, four days uh, to find stuff to actually pick up so we can list more stuff. Um, so yeah, with that said, I currently have absolutely zero deals lined up. So we're starting from scratch. And yeah, hopefully we'll be able to find some awesome video games and consoles to pick up and flip on eBay. Uh, and yeah, so here's how this is going to work. I'm going to go ahead uh, and basically look for the next, I think, day or two here and anything I come across, even if I don't necessarily think it's worth the messaging, I'll go ahead and show you guys what I'm looking at and explain my reasonings behind uh, lots that I pass on and then show you guys what sort of offers I'm sending on certain lots, stuff like that. Just basically show you guys um, a little bit more behind the scenes and kind of change up the format here a little bit of what we normally do on this channel uh, So yeah, super excited to see how this goes and hopefully you guys enjoy this one Let's get into it and let's see what I can find. Alrighty guys, we actually found our first lot here and it's this lot of about eight uh, Nintendo Switch games with a Nintendo Switch console with the dock. They're asking about 400 bucks which uh, isn't unreasonable but with that said I did price everything out and it came out to about 550 after fees we're looking at about 475 ish and then um yeah i mean we're not really left with a whole lot of room at 400 at 350 we make about 22 percent uh so i did offer them 300 bucks just because uh it is quite a bit of a drive it's about an hour drive from the studio so we would need to line up a couple other pickups uh but with that said it's still a pretty good one so we could justify it to make it one solid trip if they accept uh the 300 dollars offer but with that said it's definitely a low ball from 400 to 300 but yeah with that said still lot number one if i were to pick it up it would be some pretty good stuff and definitely items we can flip really quickly and then i also messaged on this super mario kart uh snes cartridge which they only wanted ten dollars for uh i said i can do ten dollars but i did ask them if there's any problems with it and so we're still waiting for a reply there and it's also uh in our local town here so yeah this would be a quick 30 dollar flip here because uh, we get about 40 45 for these and if we pick it up for 10 definitely a lot of room for profit and it's quick drive so why not go ahead and see if we can snatch this one up as well Alrighty, guys we did find another lot here now it's basically a uh, inbox switch with a couple of games as you guys can see unfortunately they went like 500 bucks for it and there just isn't really enough value there to even make an offer on so this is just what i'm gonna pass on top of that it is about like a 50 minute drive south so it would be hard to bundle a couple other pickups with this one. So yeah, this is just one of those ones where I'm just going to have to pass. We do have this interesting collection that has popped up on my feet a couple times. So I thought I would share it. Uh, and this is one that I will also pass on. As you guys can see, there just isn't really any games that are really worth picking up here. Uh, they want $2,000 for everything. The consoles look pretty good, but unfortunately, there just isn't enough value in the games for me to justify $2,000. These are kind of the games that we actually liquidated from our store. Um, so yeah, just because there's a big lot like this that's got some fancy uh, some fancy stuff, like a whole bunch of house of games, doesn't mean they're really worth picking up. Once again, $2,000 is a ridiculous amount of money in general, and especially for a collection like this, not worth it at all. But on the positive side, we were able to find another uh, lot here. We got an inbox NES, as well as a whole bunch of games. And they only want about $160. But unfortunately, this one has been listed for about six weeks, like I just noticed. Uh, so we'll see if they reply on this one. I can definitely do uh, 160 because these NES consoles here, uh, they do go for about 300 bucks on their own. Uh, maybe about 270 as well as, you know, we have some pretty solid games here. But unfortunately, I don't even think they'll reply back if it's been listed for this long. Once again, you never know what's going to happen. Uh, which is why I shot a message. But yeah, if we're able to pick up the slot, it would definitely be a super awesome addition to the store. Alrighty, guys, it is day two here. And well, we have a bit of an update here. So from yesterday's uh, finds that we were able to message them on, we got a reply on one of them. And that was actually, and surprisingly enough, the NES slot. But unfortunately, the box for the NES was actually missing the styrofoam inserts as well as the manual. So... I just had to go ahead and pass on it. I just don't want it to sit on my shelves and that's usually what happens when it's just a cardboard box and nothing else like that. Um, 
So yeah, maybe we're making a mistake, but at the end of the day, I just don't feel like it's gonna move quick enough for it to really make sense. So yeah, that's really the only progress we made from yesterday, but today we've had a ton of progress. Now we already have a pickup lined up for tomorrow. We're getting this this uh this lot right here it's a game boy color i think something like that with a whole bunch of games for 80 bucks uh and i think it's worth about 160 total so we'll make some great profit there and we also messaged on this lot of wii u games however a couple of them have already sold so we're gonna go ahead and pass on that one and then on top of that uh we messaged on this wii u which is missing i don't i think we it needs a new power supply so we went ahead and set an offering for 60 bucks, which to be honest is kind of low, but um, let's see what happens. Maybe they say yes, worst case we'll find one with working cables and we won't need to spend 30, 40 bucks on a new one. So it's worth the risk. Um, it's already down 80 bucks. Maybe they'll bring it down to 60, who knows. Uh, and then we actually messaged another seller who has this uh, SNES and they also have an NES listed. Now they have the NES listed for 80 and the SNES listed for 100 and I offer them 140 for both. We get 140 for the SNES alone and then 100 for the NES. So we'll see if we can make a little bit of a bundle deal there. But so far we have one lot lined up for tomorrow around 5 p.m. Unfortunately, it's about a one hour drive. So we really do need to line up a ton of pickups for tomorrow in that general region. Um, otherwise we might need to just pass on it because it's just really not worth the drive for just that one lot alone. But with that said, it's gonna be a long weekend here. So I'm sure we're gonna be able to find a ton of awesome stuff here and that's gonna be it for now Alrighty, guys it is a little bit later in the day now and we actually just ended up messaging on this nintendo switch lot here which was an animal crossing nintendo switch with about eight or so games they wanted 500 bucks i actually messaged them offering 350 uh and they counted at 400 um and i priced a lot out at about 545 550 i think we'll get even more for it uh, but that was just kind of a conservative estimate and i said no i'm actually firm on 350 and they said yes if i can pick up today uh which is insane because we brought the price down a lot um and that's usually pretty rare especially on nintendo switch lots but we take it so we're gonna go ahead and pick that one up and i also went ahead and messaged the uh the game boy person and we'll go ahead and pick both of those up in one trip so we've got about a 40 minute drive to the switch lot and then we have another 24 minute drive north of there for the Game Boy Law, and then we have about an hour drive home. So yeah, it would have been ideal to grab a couple more things, but with that said, I don't want to let this lot go uh, just because they were not available tomorrow. And it's still a pretty good lot. We'll make plenty of money and it's definitely worth the drive, but now we're able to get both of those. So it'll be even better. And yeah, we have about, I think 30, 40 minutes before we need to go. So I'll go ahead and finish up some work and then we're off to go do two pickups today. Alrighty guys, just got both pickups. Now the first one, I wasn't able to record because I kind of parked in a little bit of a weird spot, so I was kind of running around because I couldn't find the house. Uh, it was one of those like complexes where it's just like a whole bunch of houses under one address and I couldn't find the unit. Finally found it, but I just didn't have a chance to record. But yes, we did pick up the Nintendo Switch lot and we also got the Game Boy lot. They're both with us. Um, we have about an hour or so drive home now and it is snowing like crazy. So this is gonna be fun. Um, hopefully there's not too much traffic, it's uh, about past rush hour right now it's about like 6 7 p.m so we should be okay but you never know out here it's crazy so funny enough we actually ended up getting the game boy lot from someone who we've already bought games from before we both didn't realize this until we met each other which is always uh super funny and definitely not awkward but with that said uh, i might reach out and see if they have any more stuff they're willing to sell us because so far both transactions have gone pretty well and uh you know if we get more stuff we get more stuff and they've been selling stuff at a pretty reasonable price as well so you know, deals are deals we got to do what we got to do and now we have a fun drive home and no more of me rambling all right guys we're back in the studio after um after dinner actually so yeah, we have a game home we ate and now we are back with all the items we picked up this is the game boy color lot we got uh, the game boy as well as a copy of super mario land tetris super mario land 2 and aladdin uh we paid 180 no we paid 80 bucks for this and it's worth about 160 to 180 uh the Game Boy Color does have a pretty nasty scratch here. Otherwise, it's uh, it's pretty it's in pretty good condition, no complaints. But yeah, this nasty scratch here um, definitely isn't gonna help. So we might have to sit on it for a little bit longer if this doesn't sell. 
uh, right away. But with that said, I went ahead and listed it just now. Um, but yeah, I did list it for 80 bucks. So it's, I think about like $10 under market. Normally you can get about 80 to 90, but uh, the last one that I had that was in pretty bad condition, I got 84, so that's why I did this one. Uh, and yeah, we'll basically break even on uh, on the console. We'll make all our profit on the games. We have some pretty solid ones here as well. But the more exciting pickup was this Nintendo Switch lot, which was uh, our, uh, well, which, which, what edition was this again? It was the, uh, animal crossing edition so yeah, this is the animal crossing edition uh switch you can get about 280 i think 300 for the switch you have the dock and everything included so yeah, we paid 350 for the console and all these games and we have some pretty good ones in here like like just dance 2021 we got just dance 2022 we got our world of goo which is a pretty rare game this one goes for about 70 80 bucks uh we have uh mario kart 8 deluxe a personal favorite Kirby and the Forgotten Land. We have obviously Animal Crossing, New Horizons, and Bluey the video game. So yeah, we have some pretty solid titles, ones that are gonna sell hopefully pretty quickly. That's at least been my experience with Switch games. And it's pretty tough to get a deal like this one on Marketplace these days. So pretty happy we're able to get this one. And yeah, I'm pretty happy with this pickup um, as my camera cut out there. But with that said, that is going to be it for today. So we did actually go ahead and also message on this NES slot, which had about four or five games with the NES console. The guy was asking 200 for it. And there are some awesome games in there. He actually already said uh, yes to our 200 bucks, which is obviously his asking price. And we'll go ahead and pick those up tomorrow. Those uh, Double Dragon games are worth some serious, serious money. So I'm super excited to get that one. Uh, but obviously until we get the lot, we don't have it. So I uh, try not to get too excited. But with that said, we do have a time and location scheduled for tomorrow. I'll see if I can schedule anything else. But with that said, if, even if we don't, we're going to double our money on that one. So yeah, that's going to be it for now. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Alrighty, guys, it is actually day four. And unfortunately, yesterday I didn't get a chance to record anything. So I'm going to try my best to go ahead and remember what happened. But I do think that we started the day off pretty strong. We were able to message on this NES lot. I think it was like two NES consoles for 60 bucks. We messaged on this SNES console. It was an NES console with a couple games for a hundred bucks. On top of that, we also messaged on another deal, which was just a whole bunch of games uh, and a scuff controller for 250 bucks. And we messaged on those. Uh, but with that said, um, we do have a bit of an update. So yesterday, uh, after I messaged on all of those, the uh two console lot the two nes console lot i think sold to someone else the snes console with a whole bunch of games sold to someone else but we were able to pick up an nes uh that actually the uh the nes lot with those games so we'll go into those in just a little bit uh, and then also we did have uh, some pretty unfortunate luck uh, so that lot with a whole bunch of those Pokemon games and all that sort of stuff. Turned out those were fake. So yeah, I did drive for about an hour and a half for absolutely nothing. So that absolutely sucked. Um, but yeah, better than getting fake games. So at least we were able to figure that one out. Uh, so yeah, definitely some tough, tough luck. But with that said, let's go ahead and take a look at what I picked up yesterday because we got some absolutely insane games. Uh, and the guy got what he wanted. We were able to get some great games. So win-win for both parties. But let's take a look at what we got. Alrighty, so here is the bundle. We paid 200 bucks for an NES console. It did also have the cables and controllers. Those are somewhere in the office. Uh, it also came with a uh, some more cables, a zapper gun. I have like a bunch of these. They're worth like, I think 10, 15 bucks. We might just bundle them all or start selling them individually. I don't know. I just have a lot of these. Um, and yeah, we probably got to start moving them because they are worth a little bit of money. But we did get a ton of super, super rare games in this one. Keeping in mind, we still only paid 200 bucks. So we're going to make a ton of money on this. Starting things off with the Game Genie. It's worth about 30, 35 bucks. Uh, Dragon Warrior, I think, is about like 10, 12 bucks. Uh, we have uh, Mario Bros, Duck Hunt, and then everything else after this goes way through the roof. We've got uh, Dragon Warrior 2, which is like 70, 80 dollars. Absolutely insane. Dragon Warriors 4, which is like 100 and hundred dollars 150 bucks somewhere around there and then dragon warriors 3 which is around the same price range keeping in mind once again we only paid 200 bucks we're gonna make some absolutely insane money and i can't believe how much these games are worth uh super super insane pickup uh super glad we were able to pick this one up definitely worth the the i guess the hour drive uh but once again unfortunately the lot that we we're supposed to pick up after that which we we're also going to make a ton of money on uh didn't pan out so yeah we win some like this and we also lose some just a part of the business so yeah unfortunately that is the only pickup i was able to do yesterday 
Um, and to be honest, today just hasn't been in our marketplace either. Uh, we did go ahead and message on this Wii U lot. I think it was like an inbox Wii U with a couple of games. They wanted uh, 200 bucks. I messaged them for 150. Uh, to be honest, I don't really like to deal with uh, consoles with boxes just because they take too long to sell because the shipping charges are insane. So I did uh, offer him 150 and then he said yes and then sold to someone else. So that's great. We've lost about, I think, like four lots now uh, in this video just to other people. So. It's definitely a little bit more competitive, but um, yeah, we're still able to get our fair share of good stuff. So everybody gets to win. It is what it is. And I'll keep looking out. Honestly, it is a long weekend. I thought there'd be a ton, a ton of stuff. That just hasn't been the case. It's been uh, it's been a bit of a, of a war trying to find more items. Um, but with that said, we don't really need more items. I've been looking around the office and we just have so many things to list. Uh, a ton of just accessories, games. Um, so we are set for a little bit. I might just take it easy, just start focusing on uh on the listings we have a ton of consoles we got to get through tons of stuff for parts that can be listed and sold really quickly as well um but yeah that's going to be it for now definitely a bit of an update uh and we'll see if anything else happens i think we're actually going to make this video like the whole next week or half a week or whatever um we'll just see how it goes i don't know how long this video will be but uh yeah that's it for right now i'll see you guys in the future Alrighty, I'm going to call it here for this video. Now, the next week or so is actually already recorded and I was literally just editing the video. Uh, it's like one or two in the morning right now, so I might be extremely tired, but we're still thinking a little bit because uh, this video is going to be like 40, 50 minutes if I leave the next week's worth of stuff in and I don't really think that's gonna help this video. So we're gonna make this into two videos. So we'll have the next video already ready and done for you guys. We have some absolutely insane stuff. So stay tuned for that one. But let me know down below in the comments, do you guys like this format more than what we usually do? Do you guys like seeing how I'm setting up deals, what sort of deals don't go through, what sort of negotiations happen? Let me know down below in the comments. I personally think this adds quite a bit more value to the videos and that's ultimately what it's about. Uh, so let me know down below in the comments uh so yeah that's gonna be it for now i'm super super tired so i won't make this outro too long but stay tuned for the next one as well i'll see you on the next one peace